right, working on page three of the exam. First, to start with, um, I needed to specify this for F period, but let's assume the mass of the car is 400 kilograms, 500 kilograms, sorry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the speed of the car halfway up this loop here using conservation of energy. So let's be careful. First, we have all gravitational energy to start with. And then when we get to point A, we have a combination of gravitational energy and kinetic energy. So when we put it all together, we're going to end up getting here EG at the top equals EG plus EK. And when we throw the numbers in there, that's going to be M times G times H equals M times G. Now the height of the roller coaster car at A is simply the radius of the loop. And we have a kinetic energy term as well. So when we throw in our numbers, uh, let's go ahead and we'll actually solve that here. Um, so we'll say 500 times 10 times our height, which is 250, equals 500 times 10 times this radius of the loop, which is the new height, and that's going to be 25, plus we're going to end up getting here 1 half times the 500 times the v squared here. Let's simplify a few terms. Um, so there's a lot of numbers here. So that's going to give us like, oh my gosh, like 1,250,000. That's just a gross looking number. Um, but it's a necessary number, so don't despair. Um, equals, and then this is what? Um, 500 times 10 times 25. So, And then we're going to end up, whoops. I'm getting 125,000 here. And then um, finally we'll get plus 250V squared. And then when we, um, we're going to simplify this further. I'll just let you simplify this on your own time, but when you do that, you're going to end up getting a V equal to 67.1 meters per second. So that is part A. All right, here we go. So here I am, I'm going to finish part B of this problem, and a little gaggle of physics students has shown up, um, and they're making faces at me. So we're going to see if we can actually navigate these problems um, in a normal way. Um, so all right, here we go. I will not be gargling. Yes, I called you out. All right, so when the coaster is at point A, and the normal force points to the left and the weight points down. So we're going to draw this as a free body diagram. So we'll represent our coaster as a little point. You know what? I'm feeling sassy. So I'm going to use strawberry. There we go. As the color. So we have FG pointing down. And we have the normal force pointing to the left. All right. Now we got to determine the normal force on the roller coaster. And the way that's going to work is... Uh, it turns out the normal force is the only force keeping the roller coaster moving in a circle. Um, dear, one of the students has had a little accident. <laughs> she managed to. Uh... All right, so. Please make that clear. I I am actually gonna just finish up this problem. So the normal force is actually equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration. In other words. This normal force is the only thing forcing the cart to move in a circle. So we can just plug in Fn equals m v squared divided by r. So that's going to be 500 times, um, oh goodness me, v squared, which is going to be 67.1 um, squared divided by our radius, which is 25. And when we actually work that out, we're going to end up getting, I'm going to round this. So you're probably going to get like 89,000 something or some other number like that. I'm just going to round this up to 90,000 newtons worth of force. So that is page three of your practice test.